So remember when the president said he was going to have a year of action because Congress doesn't do does absolutely positively nothing? Well, the president has started that year of action. White House officials told the press that they are preparing to use pardon power to grant clemency to hundreds, perhaps thousands, of individuals who have been jailed for nonviolent drug crimes. The administration is making this move that will help the increase of petitions that, you know, the president really wants to do this. And he has basically ordered the Justice Department to increase the amount of staff that they have reviewing clemency requests. And on top of that, he's also asked the Justice Department to help lawyers, defense attorneys, work through the, the clemency process. Because what the president is saying here is that until, since Congress refuses to get work done on getting rid of mandatory minimums and, you know, the fact that, you know, the one to, the, the one to 20 ratio between um, a cocaine and a crack charge, the president is saying we're going to make, I'm going to sign, my, I'm going to use the power that I have to pardon and I'm going to pardon thousands and thousands and thousands of Americans who've really done nothing wrong. They've already paid their debt to society and instead of being in jail, or being in, you know, the in the penitentiary, which for the record is not a correction facility. People, I hate the word when they use the word corrections, because what are they really correcting? Most folks who leave jail end up going back to jail almost a couple months after, but I digress. We These individuals don't need jail. What they need is rehab. They need the programs to help them make the right life decisions. Putting them behind bars for 20 years and then, you know, just dropping them all off on a street corner after that doesn't solve the problem. But this is a positive step towards rewriting the wrong of a, bra a bad criminal justice system that is sort of slated against hurting African Americans, hurting Hispanics, and, and hurting women. And now we're getting ready to correct that. And so bravo, Mr. President, bravo.